Hey folks, it's Jason here, Old Car Auto Guy. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking another Demise of Bubbles video. You're not going to want to miss it. So the reason why I wanted to talk the Demise of Bubbles one more time Let's first start off with those who are new to the channel and don't know who or what Bubbles is. Bubbles is my 2009 Kia Sportage as you see behind me. It was a winter beater that was taken on trade here at my car dealership that would not pass inspection when the current inspection on it had run out. So I decided I was going to drive it for the winter knowing full well that it wasn't going to be roadworthy once the inspection ran out. So we took it, we lifted it. We put 31 inch tires on it and we beat the crap out of it. Anyways, long story short, we've got a little bit of an issue. As you can see, the wheel on this uh, driver's side here is bent out of shape, pardon the pun. We've got to get that fixed up tentatively so that we can at least roll it up on a trailer and get it to its secure location where we are officially going to blow it up. That blow up is going to happen this weekend. There's a trick though. I'm not releasing that video right away. I'm hoping that you guys, my subscribers, are going to get me to 2,000 subscribers. Then, once we do that, that'll be kind of the big, you know, unveiling of 2,000 subscribers. We're going to release that video of bubbles being blown up. There's going to be a two-part series. So first part is we're going to drain the oil out of it, and we're going to see how long it will go uh, before the motor seizes up. The second part is we are going to take 12 pounds of Tannerite, and we are going to set it up either underneath or inside the vehicle and then we are going to explode the Tannerite. The car is going to explode with it. So that's going to be our big 2000 subscriber celebration. We're at 1808 as of recording this video and you guys just need to help get the word out. So that's enough about this particular car. Now today here at the shop my salesman Bill uh, worked out a deal on the 2011 Hyundai Santa Fe, the little black one we had sitting over on the end, and they traded in a car that is standing right here in front of me right now that could quite potentially be the next Bubbles. The inspection on this car is good till spring next year, so we know that we can drive it and get us through till spring. Mechanically, it's got a few issues. The rocker panels are rusty. The transmission is leaking. These are little things that we can look at and spend minimal amounts of money because we've got the shop right there that I can bring the vehicle in and do some of the work myself so we're not going to have a huge amount of money tied up into this. Again, because of the issues that it does have, it's a 2006, so you know they're not worth a whole lot of money, especially in the condition that it's in. So this vehicle could possibly be the next Bubbles on the channel. What kind of vehicle is it? Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 2006 Chrysler 300. If you're not familiar with these 300s, they were Chrysler's answer to basically what the Panther platform is. Essentially, it's a rear wheel drive. Some of them came in all wheel drive. This particular one is a V6. It's not the Hemi. Yes, they came with a Hemi. As you can see, it too has bubbles. It has bubbles here. And underneath that plastic rocker panel, the, the real structure of the vehicle, the rocker panel, is looking pretty bad too. Let's take a look inside. We opened it up and it is just an entry level 300, so there's not a lot of fancy features. I mean, they are a nice car for what they are. It does have power seats. It does have cruise control and air conditioning and all that stuff. I don't know if any of that stuff works. I haven't driven the car yet. But like I said about the rocker panels, you can see all along here, the rocker is completely bubbling away. It's doing the same thing on the other side. With only 149,000 kilometers, that's about what, uh, 85,000 miles. This thing is got some life in it as far as the drivetrain goes, as long as the transmission's not cooked because somebody drained it uh, or let it get too low. Uh, it does have a little bit of an exhaust leak. If I buy this as a winter project or a winter beater, who needs exhaust? Let's, let's take a look under the hood. 
And there we have it, Chrysler's 3.5 liter V6. Now these things did work pretty good. I know they had a few issues on them, but like the hood not staying up. That's not a that's not an engine issue. Uh, they did have a little bit of an issue with these things. Some of them had oiling issues. The pumps would go bad. And of course, if it's not pumping oil, the engine won't last that long. This one actually sounds pretty good, but then again, with 145,000 or 149,000 kilometers, it's just barely broke in, I guess. At the end of the day, I want to know what you guys think. Should this Chrysler 300 be the next bubbles? Or should we hold off and wait for something better or worse to come along? I've already got a rear wheel drive car in grandma. Do I need another one? Not really. I've never owned one of these things. Do I really need one? No, not really. The answer to that question lies with you guys. I want to know what you guys think. Do you love it enough for me to buy it as a winter beater? It's up to you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. So I don't know how long this video is going to be. According to the GoPro, it's about seven minutes now. Uh, edited it down, who knows? Keep in mind that Thursday evenings is the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, which I co-host with my pal, Grant Tommy, who is Straight Six Fan. His link is the second one down in the description box below. Go down, check it out if you're into cars, if you're into automotive talk and stuff like that, or if you're a YouTuber who does YouTube stuff about cars. Come join us because there's a lot of guys that hang out there and you could gain yourself some followers and some support from a channel like ours. It all starts at seven o'clock central, eight Eastern and nine my time, Atlantic. So this week it's on my channel. I hope you can tune in and take a look and see what it's all about. You'll have lots of fun guaranteed. Also, you can get your very own old car auto guy t-shirt. As you can see on the screen right now, we also have the focus tees and the demise of bubbles tees. Now those demise of bubbles tees are only for a short period of time until we hit 2000 subscribers, uh, maybe a little bit longer, and then we will discontinue those for something a little bit different. Anyways guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you all, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.